Mr. Desmond Chu. Question 14, please. Madam Deputy Speaker, over the period 2016 to 2020, approximately 3,000 small and medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, engaged the Centres of Innovation, COIs, in the local institutes of higher learning, IHLs, and ASTARS Research Institutes, RI. These engagements have resulted in about 300 innovation projects conducted, ranging from technology translation and adoption to intellectual property IP licensing, to product co-development and co-innovation. The feedback from the SMEs have been very positive. An example of a local SME that has benefited from their partnership with the COI is Yu Tiao Men. Yu Tiao Men. Now, the Food Innovation and Resource Centre, FIRC, COI, which is located at Singapore Polytechnic, helped refine the company's frozen yutiao, which is fried dough, manufacturing methods to improve the product's taste and also quality, which then led to its successful commercialization. The company is now supplying the frozen yutiao to many hotels, restaurants, airlines, and food services companies. In addition, it has expanded into B2C market by selling frozen yutiao directly to customers online and at retail outlets island-wide. You can check it out. As announced in Budget 2022, the government has increased support for local SMEs and in particular for R&D and innovation activities. More SMEs will now be able to tap on the higher capacity and research capabilities of over 80 TIE centres, technology, innovation and enterprise centres, including the eight COIs. Over the next five years, these centres are expected to undertake close to 2,000 innovation projects across five pilot sectors, agri-tech, construction, food manufacturing, precision engineering, and retail. Besides the COIs, SMEs can also leverage our IHL's capability by participating in technology collaboration and joint projects conducted by the academias and the industry partners. Through such partnerships, our SMEs can strengthen their technical competencies, stay up to date, and learn the latest research trends and development. Our SMEs also have the opportunity to work with the IHLs and the A-Star RIs via the Industry Alignment Fund Industry Collaboration Project, in short, IAF-ICP scheme. This program encourages and enables our research collaborations between the public sector and the industry to bring promising technologies to market. So Desmond Chu. I'd like to thank the MOS for her reply. I have two uh, supplementary questions. Uh, the first one is, how do these centres of innovation serve, assist and benefit the SMEs? The second one would be, how does MTI intend to reach out to more SMEs to accelerate the pace of innovation and to foster greater innovation amongst SMEs? Thank you. I want to thank the member, Mr Desmond Chu, for his uh, supplementary question, I believe, too. And I want to assure him that uh, MTI and ESG will certainly give our strong support to SMEs that want to embark on technology innovation and the SMEs can tap on the wide range of resources at the 8 COI, Centre of Innovations. Now, each of these Centre of Innovation is a one-stop hub that supports our SMEs' technology innovation efforts based on a sectorial approach. For example, I talked about the FIRC, the Food Innovation and Resource <coughs> Centre that is located at Singapore Polytechnic. We have other COIs that focus on environment, and water technology, supply chain management, which is located at Republic Polytechnic, electronics and the Internet of Things. The, his question on how can the COI assist and serve the SME, so besides access to laboratory facilities, consultancies and training courses, the SMEs can also receive help in feasibility studies and also productivity improvements. Now I also want to assure him 
that MTI ESG, in fact, we work very closely with ASTAR, and uh, because each of the COI takes a sectorial approach, in terms of the outreach, the COI staff will work very closely with ESG to extend, to, to extend outreach to the SMEs, especially the trade association and chambers, the industry association. So clearly the FIRC that's located at the Singapore Polytechnic has very close link with Singapore Food Manufacturers Association. And the Republic Polytechnic uh, COI that focuses on supply chain management, I know that they hold a monthly industry outreach events for the SMEs showcasing the technologies that they've developed and also past projects. I want to assure him that uh, MTI ESG and also ASTAR will work closely with the COI to support our SME's technology innovation efforts. Mr. Leon Pereira. Uh, thank the uh, MOS for her uh, explanations. Just a few supplementary questions. Firstly, is there a mechanism whereby our local SMEs can very easily access the IP, the patents, for example, that are available from the COIs, the IHLs, the RIs and RCs and the ASTAR, perhaps an online mechanism where they can access these patents and see uh, whether they can enter into negotiations to license these patents for, for their own operations. Uh, notwithstanding that there are occasional meetups and gatherings and so on, is there this sort of easy online um, matching mechanism, for example? Secondly, is there a mechanism for the SMEs to inform the IHLs and so on about their commercial priorities so that that can influence the direction of R&D uh, projects. Thirdly, in the view of the government, are these mechanisms working well uh, right now to generate commercial impact? And lastly, does the government regularly uh, benchmark the performance of other IHLs and innovation ecosystems around the world which are noted to be very good at bridging between academic research and commercial impact? I understand the Israelis, for example, are very good at this and uh, they tend to generate very high commercial impact for, from academic uh, R&D. Thank you. Madam Deputy Speaker, I want to thank the member, Mr. Leon Pereira, for asking these questions. And um, <coughs> I want to reassure him that um, EDB, ESG and MTI, as well as ASTAR, work very closely with not just the COIs, but I talked about the ATTIE centres, Technology, Innovation and Enterprise Centres. And for SMEs that want to embark on technology innovation, they want to develop new innovation, new IP that will open up new revenue streams, expand their market opportunities. For example, taking the example of the COI, the COI team will work very closely with them on projects with the potential that may result in new IP, which can then lead to new revenue streams or even then new jobs created. And it can translate into a few things. It can involve it can translate into technology translation, IP licensing, product development, R&D, prototyping of solutions, and uh, proof, uh, the POC, proof of concept, and also collaboration with uh, larger enterprises. And he asked, one of the questions he asked about is, yes, certainly we work very closely uh, between ASTAR, EDB, we have, uh, I believe we have the SI, SIIRD, we collaborate with the Israel R&D side, you know, uh, sharing of best practices, etc. And um, MTI and ESG and also ASTAR, we will assess very regularly the effectiveness of these TIE centres and including the COI centres. For example, we will assess are they effective at enhancing our enterprise competitive, competitiveness. So ESG will conduct what we call, we commission an impact study. And the last impact study, I believe, for the RIE 2020 trench found that the eight COIs collected helped generate an economic VA of $150 million through working with the local SMEs. Now, to his question on is there a repository, and um, other, other than you know, a portal or whatsoever, it's best for SMEs that are keen to take the first step in technology innovation uh, and exploring how do they uh, work with ASTAR or any of the research institutes to potentially commercialize the IP into a product uh, to help them open up new uh, revenue streams. Um, they can approach ASTAR and um, ESG will work very closely with ASTAR to facilitate the discussion and to also facilitate, uh, to help them to navigate the various RIs, whether is it in the area of sustainability or electronics. There are sectorial RIs to support 
their technology innovation efforts. And then we can take the discussion further, like what I've mentioned, using the COI as an example. Thank you.